Hey, InfoSec Addicts. Welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. I'm really hoping that I can help you guys out today with where is penetration testing going? I've got asked this question recently by a student who was trying to say, well, I'm already a penetration tester, but I want to do more penetration testing. Where should I be looking to go in penetration testing? So there's a couple of things to consider. The first thing to really consider is drivers. So when you're looking at penetration testing, you need to be thinking about, well, what drives penetration testing? And there's two primary things. So the first thing is compliance. So regulatory compliance and data criticality. So if you work somewhere that's a heavily regulated industry, financials, publicly traded companies, government, obviously, the healthcare industry, these are entities that generally will require at least an annual penetration test. So you'll generally have to do, at a minimum, quarterly vulnerability scanning and at least an annual penetration test of some sort. So these types of places are places that you want to be thinking about because where you're working at is going to drive the type of penetration testing that you're going to be required to do. What if you're like, well, uh, I really want to do some really cool stuff. Well, then I would be thinking not so much of the regulatory compliance. I'd be thinking about someone who's got really, really, really important data criticality. So maybe some place like, you know, Tesla with their batteries is like the coolest thing on earth. You know, and they're really super secretive about that battery technology. You know, so that, uh, you know, that technology and, you know, that's really critical. So, you know, the, the secrecy around, you know, how they're trying to, you know, how's that data is probably going to require some really interesting penetration testing, right? Once you figure out where you're going to work, you know, then that is going to drive the technology that you're going to be penetration testing. So if you're working somewhere specifically like the government, oftentimes you're going to be testing a lot of legacy and industrial control systems, right? So you know, if you're interested in that kind of penetration testing, you know, then yeah, government is probably where you're, you're going to be doing. Uh, if you're interested in a lot of network penetration testing, also government as well. Now, I do want to kind of throw something out there, and that is network penetration testing, you know, the NMAP, Metasploit, all that kind of stuff. That's actually, I don't want to say it's shrinking because it's not going away. Um, you know, we're doing more of it, so the amount of penetration testing is going up, but the salary for it is going down. And the reason is because the tools that you use to do the penetration testing are so sophisticated today. They really don't require such a highly skilled person as it did in years past. So because of that, you're finding that, you know, every year the salary for a network penetration tester has been declining. So if there were any advice I could give you, that would be be thinking about testing some of the other technologies, web apps, mobile apps, cloud-based stuff, Internet of Things, IoT, and big data. The reason is all this stuff in this box below, web apps, mobile apps, cloud, Internet of Things, big data, these types of technologies are, are so new that there's not a lot of security testing tools for them. So because of that, the amount of money that they have to pay is higher because the tester has to do manual penetration testing. He can't just run Metasploit. He has to do manual, manual penetration testing. So I would really be thinking about that career-wise. Now, a lot of people say, okay, Joe, well, which one's gonna make the most money? And I don't think that's a good question to ask. I think what you really wanna say is, what interests you? Instead of worrying about the money, figure out what interests you. Once you can figure out the technology that interests you, you're going to make the money if you're good at it. If you're really good at pen testing big data, you're going to be gainfully employed. If you're really good at pen testing stuff that runs in the cloud, you're going to be gainfully employed and you're going to make a lot of money. I don't want you to worry about that. Worry about being good. That'll get you the money. Next thing. Something I wish I had really known to do. Think about tool development. If you look in this space, there's so few security testing tools in this space. 
if you develop a tool for testing security vulnerabilities in this space, I think you'll very quickly find that one, a lot of notoriety, so great for job interviews. People often wanna see your GitHub page so that they can interview you. Second thing that you'll often see is there's a potential to sell your product, right? So a lot of people that I know monetize by selling their product, right? They developed a security testing tool and then productized it and sold it to a security company, right? And a lot of these guys got seven figure exits. In other words, they sold for millions. So Think about that, and even if you're not a developer, I know a lot of people go, well, I'm not a tool developer. It's really not about how good of a tool developer you are, it's more about how big of a problem you see. Because if you can identify a problem that's facing someone who's heavily regulated or someone who has really, really, really critical data, and then you see that this technology that one of these entities implements has common security flaws that you can say, well, when we test, we should perform these types of tests on these types of technology, you're gonna find that there's gonna be someone who's probably gonna want, gonna want to buy that. Make friends with the developer, get them to help you to develop it, or hire a company overseas, maybe find an outsourcing website, and get started developing it. Maybe you can get somebody to develop the base of it and then open source it, try to get more people. There's tons of options, but don't sleep on tool development as a real big kickstarter to your path uh, in pen testing all right guys that's it for today give me give me some comments below what you think of this video and then ask more questions and i'll do my best to make more videos for you you guys take care be sure you subscribe and uh, like the channel take care guys